They looked so fresh, so determined. They were intent that they were not going to be beaten at the championship for the third time this year. And this man here has been immense. Kyle Hayes underlines it with a fabulous score. 1-2 for the man who's just 21 years of age from Kildimo Palace Genry. That's a brilliant score, a brilliant catch. And he just walls past the Tipperary defenders. The power the man has is unbelievable. Lanigan has lost his uh, hurley. Limerick keep it alive. Tipperary aren't even winning their own puck outs at this stage. A bedraggled looking team, which is most unlike the side we saw earlier in the championship. Tom Morrissey just tags on another. He's got a fourth. They are right now making it look ridiculously easy. That was always the person. Tipperary just want to get in the bus and get home. Exactly. Key Lynch was able to drop that ball and then pass it on to Tom Morrissey. They've taken off Morrissey, Hegarty, Willow Dunn, who all play, uh, Declan Han, all players have had outstanding games for them. And, really is is it. It. and there is Barry Nash. And Barry Nash fancies getting a point. And well, he might. It's yet another one. 2.25 to 2.12. It's a huge score by Limerick here. Beaten four points by Tipperary two weeks ago. And they've turned it around decisively, emphatically. Seamus Flanagan taking on the nearest defender to him. And uh, that ball, the challenge came in from Barry Heffernan. Referee eventually blows the whistle in Tipperary's favour. And, you know, Ger, it's hard to believe there was only three fights in it. Limerick have scored 1 7 without reply. It's just blown away Tipperary here in the last 10 minutes and uh, you know there was maybe some doubts I was one of them saying is this rotation working uh, can they reproduce you know, the level of form of last year but it seemed to be going along okay without uh, firing in all the cylinders but today they've you know as good as if not, if not better than any display that they gave there will be quite a degree of re-evaluation going on over the next couple of well next week next day or so as to how good Tipperary are can they recover from this immediately They'll be heading for the quarterfinals, of course. That much we do know. Got a couple of weeks to prepare for that. And they have big battles ahead. Free to tip. Back in it comes again towards Seamus Callanan. Turning around here, this time is Mark Keogh. And that one fired over the bar. It's a point by Jason Ford. He's got a, a six that just about raises a cheer from some of the tip fans who are still here. Bitter disappointment for Liam Sheedy. He's prepared this team meticulously. John Kiley has had the edge in things this afternoon, however. Two men who are All-Ireland winners looking for another one. And that last shot has got another score for tip. Jerome Cowell gets his first ever championship point can't really say it puts a better class on the final scoreboard because they've been absolutely roundly beaten I was down here for the league match between these two counties and you know, I thought that evening that Tipperary weren't showing their hands and Limerick did the very same thing from that evening Flanagan Dowling involved Mulcahy great play Graham Mulcahy gets a second Shane Dowling was the man with the assist pass at the end the subs come in, they look impressive, they want to show what they can do, and they've all got a very, very good attitude. John Kiley obviously stressing the fact that every member of the panel is a vital member of the panel, from one to whatever it is, 30 players. Dowling again, blocked down this time. Back it comes, Milo Mara involved, and passed by Cahill. An opportunity to throw the shoulders here, and get maybe a last scoring opportunity which didn't come for anything there for Robert Byrne well, Robert Byrne is one of those young players that the new Tipperary of the future years will be built there's still an awful lot left I'm sure in Tipperary there's a yellow card and that's for Barry Nash Final few seconds then of this monster final where Limerick have enjoyed 
a resounding success. 12 points in front at this stage. All the way down here, as far as Kyo. Slipping on the ground, kept at bay there. Richie English trying to make sure the tip don't get any more late scores. That ball runs loose. Out came Mike Casey. On it goes the referee, blows the whistle. Limerick celebrates. They are monster champions once again. Monster champions for the first time in six years. And for John Kiley and the management team, it's a day to remember, a day to savour. The All-Ireland champions then became the league champions. And now here in late June.